Hello everybody and welcome back to tutorials with the real anime girl. Hello! So today we're gonna be drawing armies and yeah, I hope that it's helpful. After this we're gonna be able to get into detailed stuff like hands and eyes and mouth and all the, the little things. So yeah, look forward to it! For now, we draw the arms ease. Let's go! Do 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 do. Cool. I'm going to use today the symmetry ruler again, just because it's nice and convenient. Um. Yeah, arms. Obviously, it's on top of the torso, so. Um. Just wait a second. Gotta make sure it's on the right layer. Dang it. Okay. It's on torso. So you've got to make sure that your torso is nice and convenient. Okay. Shoulders are the important thing. Um, one thing that's a good idea to remember is your back, because that's quite easy to forget. You have shoulder blades so if you do those this is almost like the armpit area and this is the joint where your arms connect so they do this so when the torso connects to the arms it's got this sloping shape We've got the shoulders here and the neck Ta-da! now we're ready to draw our arms but sort of connected um Again, you've got different types. So more feminine would be rounder and more masculine would be like sharp and pointy. So we'll do the feminine one first. I do ovals. So this is almost like the two, the two um, muscle pieces. <laughs> Does that make sense? The two muscle pieces of your arm, the, the top of your arm. And again, this is your elbow joint so you do the same thing with the legs this is the same length as the bottom half of the arm so one two same same length okay and then this i kind of do a diamond or a kite um it's a little too pointy though for it looks like <laughs> very buff forearm is very weak upper arms and then you connect it with smooth lines. Connect it all with smooth lines, almost exaggerating the shapes where it need be. So for example, this looks skinny, so I'll just exaggerate the, the, uh, the second oval a bit. And then here, just stop there. And then for my cheat hands, as in the hands that you won't have to, to put a lot of effort in. I do a weird oval. And then I do a little pointy thumb. A pointy finger. And then I kind of hide the rest of the fingers behind the other pointy finger. As a chunk. So there is an arm. And it does look kind of awkward. Because it's not in a position, but this should be the basic, basic structure of an arm if you want to, you want to learn it. Next, let's do both arms. What am I looking for again? This thing, right? Okay, both arms. I'm not sure how good I am with this. Again, we we'll want this. Because it's more masculine, you're gonna have your ribcage a little bigger. Same with your your scapula. Shoulder blades. Cool. And we have gotten the torso ready. Okay, with this, generally the shoulders are wider. So here's our scapula. Armpit area. Okay. Wider. 
and more pointy. So we've got my heel, my heel, elbow. Distance, distance. By the way, I'm actually measuring with my fingers, so I'm not magically <laughs> able to tell tell the difference. Um, pointy, pointy. And again, it's just an awkward position. Okay. Follow, but exaggerate the shape. Follow, but exaggerate it. Shoulder, I kind of go out with this. Try to make it a little pointier. Pointy. Pointy. Because it emphasizes the muscle. The, the muscularity? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Oh, that's the other thing. Wrist the bones. Wrist the bones. It's interesting. I actually press harder for muscles. I guess that's also an aspect you can think of. Does your line show if it's if it's more harsh or not? But yeah. Cheat hands somehow make them look my skin, I don't know, square them. More rectangular finger. Pointier hand. Anyway, that's not hands today, it's arms. And we've learned pretty well so far, I think. So well done, everybody, if you've been able to keep up with this. Um, <laughs> I hope it's been helpful. Thank you again for coming to this drawing tutorial. I hope that you have learned how to draw arms. Um, this is just the basics of the shapes and stuff. You'll have to learn posture and something, poses. I don't know, flexing <laughs> some other time. But yeah, thank you everybody. I hope that has been helpful and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Haru Alta!